Right everyone, weapon collector here. Right, so this is going to be a video showing you how to mount flashlights to pistol crossbows. And more in particular, the Tomcat 2 and the Redback. Now you could use these methods on other crossbows, but most of what I'm doing here is based on these two. These are probably the two most popular crossbows you can get. But you could also do the same thing on the Tron and any crossbows that have a rail here and underneath. So what I'll do now, I'll do a tabletop view of all of the different versions I can think of and I'll do some links and prices and all things like that. Alright, so yeah, we'll do a tabletop now. Right, so what I'll do first is show you some of the examples of stuff you can buy and how to set this up in different ways and the ways that I prefer to set the crossbows up personally it's all about personal preference really so you can get many different flashlights you get very very fancy lights like this this one has a a torch and lasers multiple lasers this one from Olight again a good light made for pistols at the actual light there costs probably eight times this crossbow does. This is a cheaper gun light that goes straight onto a mount. You get mounts that will hold large flashlights or anything that's an inch uh, thick, as in, or anything that's an inch diameter, shown here. This is a 3D cabin printed flashlight that goes on this part of the crossbow here. This is a hunting mount, but probably too big for pistol crossbows. And this is another mount, which I think would probably be pretty good for connecting to my accessory, which is these bayonets. These novelty bayonets work as a cocking aid, so you've got more to hold on to. But you could clamp this on underneath here and have a flashlight that way. Right, so this is how I've set up my red back with a torch. Now personally I prefer the torch on the top because if you ever had to use this at night with the lights underneath they only light the target whereas a light on the top will actually illuminate the, the rail as well as the target. So as said it lights up the rail. So how is this mounted? This is mounted with a basically a peep through sight or a very high mounted sight so this with this method you can have a flashlight with open sights as well so what you actually do I'll turn this on onto the low setting and you'll see how this sort of works so peep through sight so you can see the sight and the way this works you can't quite see it on camera even lights up a little fibre optic on the front there. So you just look through as you would if you wanted to aim at something and you basically look through the sight. These mounts are about £2 I think. And with these mounts you can pretty much fit any flashlight that is 25mm sort of thickness. So one of these or even a bigger one like this this flashlight I got from 3D Cabin with the mount that he supplies, which I'll show next on, on this. Uh, but yeah, this is a good, this is a setup I like. I like to be able to have open sights, but with a flashlight on the top that lights up the rail. Right, so this is the 3D Cabin mount that mounts on the cocking handle. A very good mount lights the torch at the front but for me the only issue with that is it only lights up the target obviously it prevents you having a bayonet on there if you want one but very good link for those will be in the description to 3d cabin and they do they do supply the torch so you get the mount and the torch Right, this is something new I came up with today, so that one of the 
torches you get that come with the 3D cabin mounted flashlight can fit below my bayonets. This is a bit of a prototype, but as you can see, it's just a Kydex mount, so you can have the flashlight on the bottom. Works pretty well. If anyone's interested in these, I could probably include them with the bayonets for a couple of extra pounds. But that is just held on by the mounts that are already there, and the Kydex just moulded round basically. If it's full wood enough, it just leaves enough. This is one issue with this. Obviously, if this was here, so if it was right back, you're going to struggle to get hold of the handle as well as you can normally. Again, this is the issue with putting lots on the bottom. If you want a bayonet, a handle, or a quiver, this is about the limit you can get. Short handled bayonet, handle, and the quiver. See, so if you took the quiver off, you could move the handle back. Actually, I wonder if you swapped the quiver here and the handle here. You could probably have this back as much as you wanted then. This could go right back as far as it goes. Lots of different combinations you can do with moving these handles about and moving the quiver to the middle, have the handle at the back. That torch could come back, but you'd have a handle here instead of further forward, so you wouldn't have as much um, support. Right, so here is another method of mounting a flashlight so that you can have pretty much everything. <laughs> so you can have a quiver, full-size handle, bayonet, and a sling. Because the thing with the torch being directly underneath, the sling will be in the way. So this way, with it offset to one side, you can have the flashlight, the bayonet, the sling, everything pretty much. I'll show you a picture of this mount. So that's the mount. They only cost probably five quid. It can be swiveled around, so if you loosen it, you can have it either side, directly underneath if you wanted to. The only thing I would say is, these mounts that would hold the torch won't quite fit the the one inch diameter flashlights they've got to be thinner but it does mean oh and also if you go too low it won't hold it so this is this is a bit too small wouldn't fit in but with some shims in there it would this sort of size this is a little mag light that fits in fine i don't actually have any batteries for that so i can't show you it working but that is a way that you can have an offset flashlight, you can hold the handle, you know, you can hold everything perfectly fine, and the flashlight is just offset to the side instead. Right, this is another method you can mount a flashlight on top so it lights up the rail, lights up your target. So, this flashlight is quite an expensive O light one, but you don't actually have to buy that specific light. The main part of this is putting a weaver rail on the side of your red dot sight. So this is not how it came. If you look here, this is actually zip tied on and glued on. I could probably take those zip ties off now. But I glued that on there. You can buy those weaver rails, Picatinny rails, really easily from eBay. And then with that, you can put these flashlights on. So this is a very expensive one, I was sent it as a review item. But you can get these ones for around about 20 quid. You'd have to take these zip ties off to put this on, this because this one slides on. But you would just slide this on and then it would be on basically, so it would be on like that. As I say, this one needs sliding on because of the zip ties there. But what you would do, you would slide this on first and then zip tie it on. So you would then have a light on the side of your scope. So once you've put that mount on, you get a one inch scope ring, put a full size flashlight in if you wanted to. 
you don't have to. This is why I like that one that comes with the 3D cabin, because it's a lovely little flashlight. But again, there's another option. These mounts cost about a pound each. That rail probably costs two quid. It even has a curved bottom on it, so it fits to the curved shape of the sight. Well, say you can glue it on. I've just left the zip ties on on mine because it'll just hold it better, but I have actually glued mine on. So just before I go off, I'll just talk about a couple of things I don't have, but could be used on a setup like this. You can get a, a mount similar to this, but this part is one of these rails. So you would clamp that on and then that would have a little rail there. So you could then clip on something like that or another one of these underneath to hold a flashlight. There's also similar mounts to this but smaller. Again, they clamp on and then clamp the flashlight on but as you can see they're very big and I think even the smaller one is quite long. And you can also get mounts that are like a side mount but again you would have to take something off. But yeah, that is some of the many ways you can mount a flashlight. I've always preferred the the higher mounting method for quite a few reasons. One, it lights up the rail and lights up the target, so you get two benefits there. A lot of people do say, why not just use a headlamp? The other thing I like, with this setup, I like my crossbows to have everything on it. So that if you ever did have to grab this, I don't have to grab anything else. It's got the bolts, it's got the light on it, everything's already there, I don't have to pick up a second thing at all. And it can it can go and be used. The other advantage with it being on the top in my opinion is the amount of stuff you can fit underneath then. Because as soon as that's put down there, it starts getting in the way. If it's underneath here, you can't put the, the sling on. If it's connected there, you can't put the um, bayonet on. If it's mounted there, you can't have this handle on and it'll probably shine into the back of there anyway. So I think this, this method, how you see this, is the way to get the most accessories on your um, Tomcat 2 and Redback. As I say, it's all personal preference, but I do like either open sights like I showed you with the red back with the the high mount shining over or this kind of method. I don't expect people to go out and just buy that, but with this rail on here, you can mount that on and put a full size torch as I said, or the smaller one, or you can put these cheap 20 pound lights on but most people have these kind of size torches that would fit there. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you know any other ways to mount flashlights on these pistol crossbows, let me know. And there'll be links in the description to everything you've seen, if I can find it. As cheap as possible, I'll try to link eBay and Amazon. The links will be affiliate links, so everything you buy, I'll get a percentage of what you spend, so you can support my channel that way. And if you would like to buy a bayonet, a sling, a quiver, or my broadhead bolts, send me an email below. But at this moment of uploading this video, I am about a month behind. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.